Rahman Rahim. Uh, this is Dr. Hafiz Mudandar Rahman. Uh, in today's tutorial, we will learn about how we can do or perform molecular dynamic simulation uh, for the small molecule by using the uh, free tool that is called Chimera. Uh, so, if you uh, you have UCSF Chimera uh, in previous uh, videos, I have. Uh, told you how you will be able to download and install the Chimera. So uh, if you have Chimera, uh, you can uh, easily do that. And if you don't have, you can uh, install it uh, by just uh, typing over here, Chimera, University of California, San Francisco, download it. And you can download the Chimera from this homepage. And after the uh, downloading, if you click over here so there will there will be the page that uh, appear on like this so this is the download and uh, here you can uh, select accordingly if you are using the window you can uh, use uh, you can download and install this one and if you use Mac OS you can install this one and if you are going to uh, if you're using the Linux so you can install this one so after the installation uh, if you have any small molecule like I have this one so uh, I'm going to uh, perform molecular dynamic simulation for this small molecule so uh, such window will appear and uh, accordingly uh, it is it is uh, uh, black background so you can change the background by by, by uh, clicking the action over here and then select the color and from color uh, that's the last option is all option click over here and then uh, from here you can select the background and when you will select background then click white over here and then uh, the window will be white so now it is white uh, it look like better uh, and then before the start the simulation uh, you can change uh, the format as well so in in this case I'll change it into the uh, uh, like uh, spheres so it is in the form of spheres and after this uh, you can go to the tools and uh, from the tools you will have to select the MD in ensemble analysis that is molecular dynamic uh, simulation uh, from this you will have to select the a molecular dynamic simulation uh, when you will click over here molecular dynamic simulation uh, so this window will appear uh, first of all you will have to uh, equilibrate you will have to to click I am just going to repeat over uh, here for you again uh, you will have to click the tools and then uh, MD ensemble and then you will have to click the uh, molecular dynamic simulation so when you will click over here you will have to change the settings and uh, first of all you will have to uh, you will have to equilibrate your system so for equilibration uh, these are the settings for how much time or how many uh, femtoseconds you will have to simulation and def by default it is one so you can change it accordingly okay uh, so 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 and here this is the temperature and you can again change the things accordingly and uh, here you have a file uh, like you can change the name of the file over here if you have uh, more molecules so you can change the name like this is uh, this will be uh, the file will be uh, the output uh, trajectory file will be uh, saved on this location so you can accordingly uh, change the location as well you can you can you can uh, click on the browse and give your own uh, location and then you can change the name as well accordingly so uh, I have changed the name uh, to over here because uh, uh, I have run so many molecules uh, it may be two three four five whatsoever the cases okay so you will have to uh, change the name or the, the restart uh, trajectory file as well uh, after 
before the dot nc file you will have to you can put the specific uh, uh, name over here if you do not don't put anything that's that's perfectly okay when but when you will uh, perform the second simulation so uh, if you do not change the name uh, then there will, there will be oh, there will be overlapping so to to avoid the overlapping uh, it is recommended to change the name over here and then uh, just click the run and this window will will open uh, it will add uh, the hydrogen to your small molecule and uh, uh, you can change the, the parameters accordingly uh, you will have to to learn by the manual of the chimera but uh, it is recommended to go with the default setting so i am going with the default setting so i'll click just uh, okay and then uh, it will add the charge to the molecule and there are uh, uh, many standard residues so uh, uh, by default it is amber ff 14 sb and uh, you can uh, use the guest teacher or am1 dash bcc etc uh, according to your need uh, but i'll go with the default i have selected the guest teacher so click ok and then uh, there will be specified net charge and then please specify the net charge and we have specified the guest teacher so i'll go again with the default setting so click ok yes it is running yes it has it has run okay so now uh, you can go for the production as well for the production let let me just show you how it ran how it is equilibrated when when you will learn it uh, when you will run the equilibration tab it will it will look like this uh, the window will appear here and if you will click on this so it will look like that so this is your trajectory it is equilibrating it is minimizing okay so that is like that uh, because I have already set the equilibration and the uh, production so therefore while clicking the command run uh, it shows me the uh, simulation uh, but in your case firstly you will have to equilibrate you will have to change the setting over here and then after uh, changing the settings you will have to the to go to the production and from production here you will have to again change the the settings and when you will change both the set settings and then you will have to to uh, press the run command uh, i am again repeating it while in the first case you will have to select the the equilibration tab and after the changing over here the output file the femtosecond etc don't press the run then just go to the again setting and and select the pro the production uh, tab and then here you will have to change again you can change the temperature you can change the pressure you can change the relaxation time you can change the, uh, the all these things accordingly and then here uh, in the in the equilibration tab we had heating uh, dot uh, nc file and and uh, in the restart trajectory we had uh, heat dot residue uh, dot nc file and in production tab we have production in prod dot uh, nc file and then prod residue dot nc file and i have changed the name the name uh, like i have put the two because it is a second molecule of mine so after both of these changing in the end you will have to to press the run command and when you will press the run command the simulation uh, will start running and then when uh, it will be completed this type of window will appear so you will have to uh, the this tab uh, in, in in the will be in the last frame uh, that is uh, 980 so you will have to pull it back to the first frame and then you can uh, click the play button 
and accordingly I can change the format as well so you can uh, press the run so it will it will look like it will look like that so here you can see how the molecule is twisting and how the the atoms are getting uh, are, are getting closer closer to each other or they're changing their position so in this way you can minimize your small molecule and then after uh, the minimization and after the MD simulation of the small molecule you can change that conformer which was uh, minimized by the MD simulation for the further processing or for the docking purpose so this was uh, uh, all about uh, this uh, tutorial and uh, I, 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 I think if you have any problem you can just uh, comment on our video and if you think it is helpful to the beginner to the those who don't have any basic uh, idea and knowledge so share with them.